What's up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you basically how you can, let's say, Avada Kedabra in PCs in Hogwarts Legacy. I'm going to be showing you guys basically how to do it. Now that it's not intended to be in the game, but there is a workaround that we found, that the community found, not me personally. So sh shout out to Big Boy 2526 on Twitter for sending me this kind of glitch or, or whatever you want to call it, workaround. But basically what I'm going to be doing in this video is showing you how you can take out NPC characters. So basically, you know, everybody's been joking about playing Hogwarts Legacy that they could take out NPC characters, like any character you want, like these people walking on the streets. Like we're going to show you how you can literally take them out. And that's kind of the whole goal of the game. It's, it's a little bit of a lengthy glitch, uh, but once you do it or work around it's going to be forever. It's going to be locked in and you won't have to worry about, you know, trying to keep on doing it throughout your playthrough. Once it's done, it's done. And it kind of just resets some of the dynamics of the game to allows you to pretty much do whatever you want. And some people have even been speculating on Twitter that this is intended, like, like the developers intendedly put this little workaround in this game just to let you know people do what they want without actually advertising it as such so i just do want to say a lot of people are wondering like why is this my character this is obviously my sister's playthrough but with that being said let's go ahead and get into the actual glitch so as you can see we're going to go ahead and fly into the castle and it's just important that you pay attention to the areas that i'm going to so i'm just going to go into this central park right here right in the middle of the castle and i find it's the easiest entry point to follow where we're supposed to be going to do this and um, basically all you need to do is land and go to this big front door right here, this big open arching door. And this is going to be the entryway. It's important that you follow this path because it's like a linear path. It's something to do with the different, you know, how the game's like when you open the doors, this door is actually going to load when I open it up. So you're going to see that not everything behind the doors are loaded in when you actually open up the doors. So as you can see, I go to the store and there was no loading screen. So every other door that you open throughout this game, you're going to have a loading screen just for a little bit. But this one that I just particularly opened, there was no loading screen. And if, if you do get a loading screen, just go back out and do it again until you do not get a loading screen. Because really that's the first thing that you need to make sure about when you're trying to do this glitch is that there is no loading screen when you get into that first door. So as you can see, you have to grab this book that's just floating around. It's just an early mission of the game. And don't worry if you've already completed it, it'll respawn back. And so once you have that, once you get that book, as you can see, I'm shooting at the red flames. So I do have ability to use my wand inside the castle. Some people said, you know, once they grab this book, that they can't use their wand. So once you grab the book, just make sure that you use your wand and it's going to spit out red, even if you're slytherin even if you're any type of house hufflepuff ravenclaw slytherin gryffindors it's all going to be red when you first fire that so that's the second thing that you need to make sure that it's you, you see that and then if you burn this cape right here it's going to give you like a little mission and this is basically unlocking the secret mission to set this free to set the abilities free so now that I have the secret mission, I have a path that I need to follow. And basically, this little NPC character right here, these guys are just going to be not looking at you. So normally throughout the game, you like these characters interact with you, but now they don't even notice you. So that's like a third check to make sure that these characters don't even notice you and you have the ability to kind of jump and run wherever you so please. So do not go down the stairs. It's important that you just jump off that balcony and as you can see this door opens right up and then I can go through here into the screen room and these see how the NPC characters are not acknowledging me I'm just continuing on on my free roam mode and none of these doors are having loading screens it's important to see if you're seeing loading screens throughout this glitch you have already failed you just need to start it over because there can't be any loading screens when you're opening these doors it needs to be a free room so now that we're in the greenhouse room you can see none of the npc characters are even noticing us they're just walking right by like we're invisible it's almost to say that we have the invisibility cloak so you're going to go down here this is what they like to call the giving tree here and what you want to do is jump in the water and swim in a circle around the giving tree as you can see the fireflies will start lighting up and it'll start 
illuminating the greenhouse room. So once you do one complete circle, you can hop back out of this tree and run back over here into this other pond. And you're going to be able to see that when we first saw the pond, it was deep and now it's shallow. So that's another check that you can check as long as you can go. And don't worry guys, if this seems like a lot to follow, I'm going to show you I'm going to show you the, the Google Doc that just kind of checks everything off for you. So anyways, now that we've done both those lakes, it opens up the lake room. As you can see, this is the bottom of this tree that we were just swimming around, and there's a chest here in the back of this column. And this chest will not appear unless you do the complete circle and run back to the shallow pond. So as you can see, now that this chest is spawned here, we're going to make sure that our red stuff is still firing out our red stuff still firing out we're still good on that now that the chest is there do not open it if you do open it it'll it'll um do a little glitch basically and just kind of boot you out there's a lot of like little traps within this and that's what a lot of people are saying like these are little games that the developers have put out for us to complete it's almost like a mission within the mission so now that we've gone there we've checked to see the chest was there we've done a lap around the tree you want to come back up to the top again and do a half lap and then turn around right into these lily pads. And you want to sit in these lily pads for a little bit and just kind of wait around for about like 20 seconds or so. Just kind of what I'm doing. Go to each lily pad patch and just sit there. And basically what this player is doing is getting the gillyweed kind of like you remember on Hogwarts Legacy episode 3 or 4 where they get the gillyweed and they can, and they can breathe underwater. So as you can see now... It's time to actually go ahead and do what we came to do. So what I want to, what I'm going to be doing now is running through this door, the same doors that we came in, no loading screen, but you can see this is, is now when you climb up to the top of the castle, it is a different room. This is not the room that we came into. So we can actually have access to this new part of the castle that isn't supposed to be given to us. Like we're not supposed to be in here. And as you can see, all the different houses are mixed together. Slytherin, Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, they're all mixed in together. You see the green cloaks, you see the red cloaks. And if you go through this door right here, it's going to be like a little passageway into the secret library, like the forbidden library. As you remember, Hermione and George, they went into the forbidden library to get the secret books. Well, this is where we're going to find the books that actually teach us how to do about a cadabra to NPCs. So as you can see, I just tried to do it to an NPC right there, but it didn't work. It just went right past him. But if you go back in this area, as you can see, it's it's locked off, and you can't get into the dark area. So we got to figure out why they won't let us in there. Obviously, because it's very spec like special stuff. But what they don't, what you don't realize is, like a one librarian actually didn't put all the books back. So there actually is a real book that we can look at up here that's going to teach us something about doing the abadic cadabra to the students so as you can see if you do this a couple of times it's going to illuminate any objects that you can interact with and you just have to do luminos and if you don't have the luminos spell if you just have your controller and you just say into your controller you just say luminos it'll do the same thing like if you didn't know that you could do that so as i did that trick you can see that 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 statue right here is flaming See, it's like icon. It's like an icon to click on. So if you go up here and interact with this statue, and you do Rebellio or, or Luminos, they do the same thing, depending if you're from England or America. But this statue is going to illuminate. And that is what's going to let you come over here to this painting with this big wizard on it. And if you look at all the paintings, nobody, none of the paintings are talking. And it's very oddly peculiar because most of the time, the paintings talk in Hogwarts Legacy, but now they are not talking after you did a loose luminous. So now, okay, let's see. You spin this globe, and when you spin this globe, it basically backspins time, and then you spin this globe too, because you got to make sure you spin all the globes in the room. Because even though they slow down, they're still spinning just a little bit. And they all have to be spinning at the same time. So I'm going to spin this one really quick too. So that, And you have about two minutes to do all this. So that's three of them spinning, right? And then this letter will pop up and you can read it for yourself. And it's going to tell you 
exactly what you need to do to get to the secret layer. And that's where we're going to do this speaker stuff. So basically, you spin the globe again, just make sure they're all spinning. You don't want to leave the room when they're not spinning. Now that they're all spinning, as you can see, if you look at the globe, it's just spinning just a tiny bit, just a tiny bit. All globes are still spinning very slowly. Now I'm going to go through this back door and go up to this other castle room where I can now, with that letter, if you didn't have time to read it, it basically told me where to go to unlock this. And I, there's going to be a little dove that you can follow. As you can see, that dove, and I'm going to shoot it, pull it in, and that is going to give me a new ability. Now that you have that ability, you should be able to do the Vata Kedavra Curse to anyone and everyone you want to in Hogwarts Legacy. Thank you.